Hello and welcome to another Grand Arena Championship. I'm Heathen13 and this is Season 30, Week 1, Round 2. After a bad start to the season, I am looking to turn things around here in this second match. And my opponent today is named... Frederick Nijam. Nedjam? I'm not sure. Let's look at the matchup. All right, when we look at the hotbot overview, it looks to be about even amounts of red and green, but my opponent has the red where it's important. So let's zoom in and take a closer look. Taking a look at the stats, and what jumps out to me right off the bat is my opponent's lifetime banners in the old system was only 228,000. That means they pretty much didn't play GAC. Now, is that going to matter much anymore? Maybe. It may mean that they're a little more inexperienced. Maybe they don't know quite as many of the different counters. I'm not sure, but I don't know that I can use that as an indicator of how good a player my opponent is. Because once they attach crystals to GAC, everybody plays. Comparing our rosters, you can see my opponent's overall GP is about 1.5 million more than mine. And when we look at the top 80 and top 65, it's about 200,000 more there also. Along with that, he's got about 20 more Zetas than I do, and 13 Omicrons to my six. Holy moly, let's look at his Omicrons. So, as you can see, here are all his Omicrons. The three for Grand Inquisitor and the one for Phasma are for Territory Wars. Everything else here is for Grand Arena though. So quite a collection of GAC Omicrons at his disposal. But when we look at the speeds, you can see I have a really large advantage on speeds. My opponent has not apparently invested very much into mods, which may be my saving grace. We'll see. However, he's got more than double the amount of gear 13 characters that I do. When we compare our mods, you can see I only have 10 more total six stop mods than he does, but I have way more mods with speed as secondaries to the point where it looks like my opponent maybe isn't even paying attention to whether or not a mod has speed as a secondary or not before he six dots it. I'm not sure, but I will take whatever advantages I can get because the rest of this match is quite a mismatch. Comparing our relics, and as you can see, my opponent has more than double the total relic levels that I do, just demolishes me across the board. In Galactic Legends, again, twice as many as I do, all six for my opponent compared to my three. When we look at other characters, you can see my opponent has Starkiller at Relic 7 and Grand Inquisitor at Relic 5. And looking at the rest of the key characters, he's got them all and some key ones to look at. His cat is Relic 8, his Piet is Relic 9, and finally in ships, because of that Relic 9 Piet, his executor is faster than mine. So we've got about two hours left in the attack phase. I had to go pretty heavy offense again because my opponent's history shows that he likes to put three GLs on defense and hold three for offense. So that is what I was counting on. Let me show you the board. My opponent has already gone and he has full cleared me. However, his score is only a 1920. He didn't run through my ground as easily as I thought he would. Down here, I put Darth Revan along with Gas back on my defense, Qui-Gon, CLS, and Shock, and my Darth Revan got a hold. So I figured that maybe he was trying to go a little light on the front. He likely didn't scout me, so he didn't know whether or not to expect GLs in the back or not. But what was surprising to me is once he had opened up the back and knew what was there, he continued to struggle. He dropped one on my Aiden. He dropped two battles on my Maul. And then in the front, he also dropped a battle on my Phasma and two battles on my Boba Fett Bounty Hunters. So quite a lot of drop battles here, although he was able to get through everything. The ships, he tends to like to hold all of his ships for offense, Executor, Negotiator, Malevolent, so he didn't have any problems on my ships at all. But he's left me a lot of wiggle room if I can full clear. The defense I'm facing up here at the top, we've got his Lord Vader, we've got Qui-Gon, got Jedi Master Luke and Rey, along with a Padme squad. 
down here on the bottom, we've got Night Sisters, Bosk, Mon Mothma, Grievous, and a Dooku with Nest. So I think I have a counter for everything. And if I can just clear through the board, it doesn't really matter how efficient I am. My opponent drops so many banners on so many battles that as long as I get it cleared, we should get the victory. Unlike normal, where I almost always start down here at the bottom, I'm going to go back up to the top because if I can't clear through his GLs, then the match is over. So we'll start up here. We'll start with Lord Vader. And for that, I will go with SLKR. The standard SLKR walk counter, and we'll cross our fingers that everything goes well. He is running the double tank variant, so it may take me a little bit longer to get to his Lord Vader. But assuming I put the right um, tech on to SLKR, all should be well. And once again, I forgot to use a Datacron. Ah, so frustrating. After this battle, I gotta take a second and uh, just make a note of where I'm gonna use them or something. So we've done this battle quite a few times. It just comes down to whether or not, you know, how long can Watts stay alive? And uh, how quickly can I get through the sides so that I can build up enough mastery on SOKR to get enough damage to kill Lord Vader? Feeling like Lord Vader is just kind of hyper fixated on Watt at the moment, which is a little bit of a bummer, but we'll just keep cleansing him and we'll keep him around as long as we possibly can, which doesn't seem like it's going to be a whole lot longer. We have Royal Guard getting close to getting down. And we have Watt. Close to death. Okay, so Royal Guard's down and so is Watt. And I am close to my um, ultimate. I like to think that it's... um gonna go well here if I can't if I if I die and I don't get him down I'm in big trouble though all right pop the ultimate that should buy me at least a little time a couple rounds of no damage let me heal all the way up He's got another ultimate coming. So, I think I'm safe at this point. I don't really remember a time when I've lost when it's come down to 1v1, but you never know. I never want to count my chickens before they hatch. I'm not anywhere close to another ultimate. That is scary. Feels like he's doing a lot of damage. The only thing saving me right now is the tank tech. Come on, SLKR. You can do it. Oi. I got a ton of mastery, but... Alright. Nice. Okay. Next up, we will go against Jedi Master Luke. For that, I will go with Jedi Master Kenobi. And I am going to put the Datacron on. Not going to forget this time. Got my fancy uh, Galactic Republic Datacron to use. 
and we will jump in. So we'll give that over there. And we'll do that anyway, even though we know it's not going to kill him. Part of me thinks maybe I should be holding that. But we're going to get stuck, essentially stuck behind the taunt until we get our um, higher ground thing up. So we'll just get to our ultimate as quickly as we can so we can get out Barris and Hoda. We're almost there. Alright. So we've got our ultimate. And so did he. So he'll be hitting harder, and so will we. Uh, at this point, I think the damage immunity is more important than the... Or the healing immunity on them is more important than the damage immunity on me. Alright, so he's gone. We're going to start working on Hermit Yoda. I feel pretty confident that I can leave Luke and he's not going to really hurt me much. Now it's just a question of how many banners can I end up with. So I'd like to get another healing immunity on Luke, but may not need it. Well, here it is at the very end. And we lost the banner. Okay, so against Ray and Rose has an Omicron. I don't even know what it does. I'm not actually even going to check because I don't really care. Or rather, it's not going to change how I play it is a better way to say it. And I've got a Jedi Datacron and this one, the very beginning when I have full health and protection, I get 100% um, more damage. So I guess that's kind of cool. So we will, let's target Rose. And we already got Rose into damage immunity, so that's nice. And we'll see how fast we can get Ray into damage immunity. And I think we had her, but it went by so fast, I'm not sure. Let's do the wave thing. And one thing I noticed about my opponent is they really, really didn't invest in mods or Datacrons really at all. Their their amount of Datacrons they had was uh, was very small to the point where I don't even know if we're going to see any. And there we go. She didn't even get to her first uh, ultimate. See if we can heal up a little. Uh, it's not looking like we're going to get any banners back. It's okay. So the GLs went down smoothly. Now we have to worry about these other ones. Again, usually I go through the bottom first to see what's in the back, but it's not going to really change what my plan is for these teams. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear through the zone. Against this Qui-Gon squad, I'm going to use the Newt team. Now the Newt squad for me has always been a defensive squad, but against Qui-Gon... Um, in threes especially, I like it for offense. Where is it? I lost it. There it is. So the idea here is when Jedi Knight Anakin gets his big hit and destroys her team, he's only going to take some sacks off B1 so he won't die. If Django dies, he'll revive. And when Newt dies, he'll revive and go into stealth. So, and... For that matter, Django probably won't die because he'll probably still be in damage immunity. So it kind of gives you a kind of fail-safe for all three of your characters for when Jedi Knight Anakin goes crazy.
I'm gonna go ahead and clear the foresight. And he already used his big hit. Interesting. Okay. We're just gonna go straight after Qui-Gon. And so there was the big hit. Ah, so we lost Newt. Well, bummer. And now Anakin is in stealth, so he's going to do some damage. So this still might lose. But we'll see. We'll see. Django still has another uh, life to live. B1 still has quite a few stacks, but we got to get to Qui-Gon. Shock putting him under stealth. Really annoying. There we go. I don't know if I should have burned. I should have probably um, just shot. There we go. So not great banners, but we're through. And in fact, a 54 is not that bad. That's basically full banners for Django and for B1, and we just lost out on the death of Newt. And I think if I get Newt up into Relics, that that would be an even better counter. All right, this is the counter that I'm least confident about. I'm going to attempt to take out this Padme squad with a Treya team, but I'm going to pull off Scion and we'll put on Thrawn. And I'm just worried that I don't have enough damage here. Now the idea here is we get a Fracture on Mace, we get the Isolate on Padme so they don't get bonus protection and we kill GMY. The question is whether or not we can survive long enough because they've got quite a bit of damage. Actually, let's just pass it to Treya and we will Isolate right away. We might actually fracture GMY because he's more of a threat damage-wise, and we'll hope to we'll hope to get to uh, a situation where we get annihilate sooner rather than later. And again, hopefully we don't totally just eat eat it from GMY, who's over there about to wreck people um, let's put him on timeout again and I think I'm gonna annihilate um, you know let's just kill Padme because if this doesn't work for some reason and we have to redo this battle or clean it up now the leadership is gone so we'll work on Yoda here So far, so good. They're not doing as much damage as I expected them to, which is nice. So this looks like it's going to work out really well. This was a fairly low investment team for me. So um, to have it work uh, is great. All right, let's see if the ships are what I expect. Empire, Finalizer, and Radis is what I'm expecting. Empire, Finalizer, Radis. All right. So we will come back to them as they are usually my uh, Achilles. We'll come down here to the bottom and we'll keep working through the ground. So let's start with the Mothma. And for that, we will go with Wampa. I don't know why I need to select him from a list. Let's just go with Wampa from here. And do I have something that will give tenacity, extra tenacity? This one would, but it's a better one than I want to. Nope. Okay. So no Datacrons for Wampa. We'll just go in solo. Hope that uh, Kyle doesn't kill him off the bat. I decided that um, 
this particular comp was a little scarier than I wanted to try Aiden on. And um, so I figured Wampa would be a better bet. It does mean that the usual Wampa counter that I'll do on Grievous won't be in play, but that's okay. And Kara can be sometimes a pain because she always has potency up and then she gets her revive, so we'll have to uh, kill her multiple times until she doesn't have it. And she didn't have it and she came back anyway, so alright. And have I even hit Kyle yet? I don't know if I have, but he's been dying. Uh, I guess from the dots. And now he's really dead. And we gotta get her without the potency up. No potency up. And dead. Alright, next up. These Night Sisters. I am not sure. I actually going to leave that because I'm not sure on that. Let's go Grievous and let's go Jedi Knight Revan. I've got a few options, but I don't know that I love any of them. Um, no need to mark Magna, so we'll just wait on that. Oh, and B1 is actually in stealth, even though you can't tell that he's in stealth. That's annoying. Little bugs like that I wish they would fix. Well, now let's go ahead and knock down some of those stacks. Uh, let's knock some more snack stacks down. Snacks. More stacks down. And let's go right after Grievous. I think we can get him out. I think we have the... Uh, the damage to do it. Yes, B1 is going to heal him. But, uh, I think we can get it. Almost. Come on, come on. Let's do it before he gets a heal. Nice. Alright. So, no big hits from, uh, from Grievous. Now it's just a matter of how much health and protection can I get back? Again, it doesn't really matter. I shouldn't be worried about banners because this is not an efficiency match at all. Um, I think my opponent dropped battles on five different teams and on a couple teams, multiple ba multiple battles. So uh, it's a lot of banners to lose. I just need to get the full clear. All right, um, against this boss squad, we're gonna do what we did last time, which was go with a old Ben, Han, and Chewie team. And uh, that allows me to use my fancy um, Datacron here with extra crit damage and armor penetration. And anytime I use a special ability, I get repost. And I start with extra turn meter, so I think this is one of his stronger teams left. And so, yeah, we will uh, take full advantage of that. Stun him, wave them all down. Stun him. And... Yeah, let's do that. Can get behind. Uh, I can get behind that. What does repost do, by the way? I don't know if I know. Let's look it up. Attacks out of turn ignore protection and can't be copied. Oh. I guess the repost can't be copied is what they're saying, not the attacks out of turn. That's kind of cool. Oh, 
Nice. Alright, here is where we start getting into the thing of I'm not sure who I want to take where. This could be really annoying. I'm going to go against this Dooku squad with my Bosk team. And the thing that's going to be annoying is the weakest person on the team is Nest. So I have to attack Nest, even though she is going to be counterattacking. Although, um, maybe I can get a stun off on her. Oh, well, now Dooku's the weakest. All right. And he's going to go stealth here in a second, so that's going to be annoying. And now I can't attack him again. Hmm. So... A wee bit of a miscalculation. Let's get that back up. And let's attack Newt and see if we can't get Newt to be the weakest. Oh, well now Ness is the weakest. Alright, well we got our contract. And uh, let's attack Newt. And let's see if we can stun Dooku. And let's kill Nest. And let's head back over the nuke. Uh, we'll heal up and pay that off. Yeah, I figured this would work. I just figured it would be annoying. And so far, I think it's going to be fine. When everybody's stealth, nobody's stealth. Ooh, and I almost have a another disintegrate. So we'll use that on Dooku so we don't ever have to worry about him and all of his um, counterattacks. Oh, that's really annoying. Let's heal. Pay that off. We're just saving the disintegrate for Dooku. Sadly, we are not going to get full banners, but... It's all right, not an efficiency match. For this last team down here, these Night Sisters, I'm gonna take Padme. I don't love it though. We'll go ahead and put that up. Hopefully that will protect us from the plague here coming up. And yes, let's go ahead and hit person with shatter point. And let's see if we can stun to just avoid. Oh, shatter point. Some more. Yes. Let's see if we can avoid um, plague altogether. Nice. And it's going to be a little annoying getting stuck behind Zombie for a little bit, but Ahsoka does a nice job of cutting through that. Hit the Shatter Point. I was a little worried about this um, counter, but it looks like it's doing fine for the moment. Oh, I wasted that. Had 10 stacks of Courage, and I shouldn't have, shouldn't have used it on Zombie. It's all good. All's well that ends well. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if he caught me with some kind of change in the back. If he put a GL back there, I could be screwed. All right, no GLs. So in the back here, we've got quite a few squads, uh, lots of relics, but I'm not too worried about them. Of course, knock on wood that that doesn't come back to bite me. I think the thing I'm worried about the most is this Jedi Knight Revan team because I'm trying to take it out with my troopers. And I'm not sure if that's the greatest idea or not, but it's what I'm going to give a shot to and we'll hope that Dark Trooper can hit hard enough to make it happen. I think we will go against Basti first. I think she is the weakest. Uh, to get rid of the savior and then we'll switch over to Jolie I guess 
Hmm, that was weird that uh, she took no damage there on those other ones. All right, can we get through Jovi? Nice. Okay, well, even if this fails, we should... Uh, what am I talking about? Dark Trooper and Piet failing? Never. Okay, nice. Definitely not as clean as I would have liked, but um, yeah, I'll take it. Uh, let's go after these First Order with some resistance and Yes, I definitely need to get some relics on to BB-8. It's just so low down the um, chain of, of what I am worried about doing right now. Oh, didn't get a stun. Let's actually see if we can just kill him outright. Her, rather, sorry. And now we are stuck behind a taunt. We'll go ahead and burn it up. Didn't get burning down, that's a bummer. Let's wave that down so we can kill Phasma. Uh, can we get a stun on Phasma? Yes, nice, all right. Well, let's kill her. And then we'll work on Kylo. Or actually, you know, we'll probably leave Kylo until we have another healing immunity up. So. Wave down Stormtrooper. I just don't want to get countered and I don't want it to be a waste of my attack so being able to stun him is nice for no counters and being able to uh, get the healing immunity on him is key wave him down again see if we can stun him again nice eliminate the destiny this should do it I hope all right just the tank left So I am surprised that my opponent struggled as much on my defense as he did. I think that is a result of kind of that lack of experience I was talking about with not playing GAC a lot. Even though he left himself a lot of teams for offense and he had lots of characters with lots of relic levels to work with, um, being at a constant speed disadvantage and just maybe not being as comfortable, I think definitely played into my favor. Um, Geos, we will take... EP Mara and Vader. I am about mm, three weeks, I would say, from being able to unlock Star Killer. Uh, maybe a little more to get relic, uh, get all the relics. But in about two and a half weeks or so is when I should have all the characters up to seven stars. So we're getting close. Well, oh, Vader hasn't even gone yet. There we go. It's like, where's my turn? I'm supposed to be the star who kills everybody. All right, Vader, you were still the star. You were still the star. Just Mar and EP are doing work. All right, this bow candy is going to get a dose of Grievous. And hopefully that works. Grievous is not amazing in threes. Oh, and I passed him up already. Where'd he go? But I kept him on offense as a potential counter for a GL if there was extras. Um... Although in threes, that's not nearly as, as um, not not nearly as good a counter as in fives. But he's kind of my insurance, and I figured might as well use him here. Definitely not somebody who's going to get a lot of banners. But again, not an efficiency match. Looks like Magna's going to die. There we 
is. Looks like this may not even work. Hmm. Let's see if we can get armor out of here. All right, Grievous should be able to beat Bo-Katan, Bo right? 1v1, yeah. And all we're left with on the ground is this uh, Poggle squad. And I think I was going to do Geos. Um, but part of me thinks I should try Bad Batch. Let's try Bad Batch. And if it doesn't work, then we'll, we'll shift over to Geos. Um, not any of us to strip really here, but we do get the healing immunity up. The days. That was not nice. They just cleanse everything off. We're gonna have to wait till we get another, um, another buff stripper from Echo, and we'll hope that Droidica doesn't kill anybody before then. That oh, and he's he was ability blocked, so that didn't even happen. All right, well, we're still stuck behind um, damage immunity for a second, so we'll just basic until he goes again. Let's roll that out. I think I am gonna lose this because I don't think I have a way to strip that off, and he's just gonna keep taking big shots. I think Droidica is going to beat my whole team. So that was a definitely uh, missed, a misread, misplay on my part. We'll bring in Geos to clean up. That's okay. Should have stuck with the original plan and just went Geos from the get-go. The nice thing about Geos is you got two different ways to clear that uh, damage immunity from him. Got the uh, GBA's middle ability and then Spy's big hit and it didn't even matter. All right, so to the ships, my nemesis. Let's see if we can get this done. His best fleet, I believe, is this Empire Squad. I have my executor, so we'll do that. Um... Yeah, usually I put Executor on defense, but when my opponent um, puts his own Executor on offense, if he likes to keep him for offense, then I would rather just keep mine for offense too, rather than just give him a quick and easy kill. So it pretty much means that I have to win on the ground at that point, which is usually not the best um, scenario for me, because usually I'm the underdog, and I'm kind of hoping that ships will be the thing that saves me, even though usually it's ships are the things that are killing me. So um, in this situation, I knew he was going to take Executor for offense. So I kept mine for offense as well. And it turned out that um, I didn't need ships to save me because he struggled so much on the ground. Although, I shouldn't be cat counting my ha uh, chickens again. This is not a win yet. I need to clear these fleets. And uh, pretty confident that I will. All right, that brings me to his finalizer. And I am going to bring the malevolence. And that will actually leave me two fleets for the Radis, assuming this does fine. 
could he hunt? Okay, that is, that's like the best case scenario right there. So we'll get the buzzroids flowing. And see if we can get this Thai Echelon out of here. Almost. There we go. And... Oh, that was a waste of buzz droids. Dum, 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 dum. What a weird... What a weird uh, thing to use as a reinforcement. Oh, nice. Oh, and wasted buzz droids again. What am I doing? As you can see, it's been a while since I've... use malevolence against anything other than executor I'm forgetting how to even play it there we go nice okay and against Radis, we will go with our own finalizer and we are going to go with the old school starting lineup Thinking behind that is we're gonna just try to get the Millennium Falcon out right from the get-go um, just with the big hits and the follow-ups and he doesn't have a tank in the starting lineup so we're gonna be able to focus on her right away so one big hit hand it back for another hit and a follow-up. Nice. So that's the big threat. Not to say we can't lose from here, but um, pretty confident in how things will go from here on out. We do need to get Poe out, though, before he targets crew. Pile on Poe. Oh, I had a bunch of people who were dazed. That was bad. Um... I guess we're going to clear that. Let's go ahead and assist. Nice. Um, let's hand it back for a big hit. All she's got is the tank. And that tank doesn't do anything to help her get to her ultimate, so... Pretty safe here. Although it sure would be nice to um, let's not bring anybody else out. It should be nice to actually not keep missing. Dodges are a pain. It's another interesting reinforcement. Uh, I think we can just get rid of him. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So, ships were not a problem this time, and uh, we get a relatively clean win. We got a total of 2028 20, to 1920 is our final. I want to say thank you to Frederick Nijam for the match. Appreciate it. I feel like I was in desperate need of a victory here today, and uh, so it was nice to get one. I want to say thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you again in next round.